Hello and welcome to Write LaTeX. Uh, this short introductory video is going to show you how to create, edit and share your scientific papers online very easily and very quickly. Uh, this is the Write LaTeX homepage. Um, there is a tutorial if you need one. There are some templates and demos to help you get started. But we're just going to dive straight in and create a new paper. After clicking on create a new paper we're taken to the editor window. On the left here I can type my paper. On the right, um, the preview will automatically update as I type. So, let's get going. My paper is going to be called My New Masterpiece, and I'm the only author of this one. If I was working with someone else, I could quite easily share my work by this using this unique URL. Um, so each paper has its own unique um, web address, and you can share that with your friends. There's a handy button here for you to copy the link or for you to share it with friends on Facebook or on Google Plus or other social media sites. So as you can see after typing in my title and author um, the previews updated on this right hand side the introductory template contains some um, helpful um, sections to get you started with some examples so it shows you how to insert a table and how to use math mode and how to use lists. Um, so I could type here on the left I could work and collaborate with others. Um, I can upload figures and files and download everything as a zip. If I want, wish to save a PDF I simply click. Having signed into my free Write LaTeX account I can now um, save versions in the history menu. So if I call this my first draft, hit enter, I now have a snapshot of this the paper as it is at this particular time. So if at a later date I'd decided that I didn't want to have deleted that tables and figures section like I just have, I could go back. So that section's gone, go to the history menu, hit restore. Yes, I'm happy to restore that version. And that section's back. It appears first in the left in the source code area, and then the preview updates and it's back on the right. That's really handy there for saving versions in particular before you share your paper with others so that you know exactly what the version was when you shared it. Uh, this real-time preview is really useful for picking up errors as well. Um, if I make a common mistake which is to delete one of the backslashes before a command in LaTeX, um, that can be quite difficult to notice sometimes. Um, but here we see there's an error flashed up on the top right. If I click go to first error and warning, it tells me that there's something wrong in this area and I can see, ah yes, I've deleted that backslash. And finally, let's suppose that this is now my completed paper. Obviously in real life I'd hope I would have added a bit more content. Um, but having completed a paper, I probably want to publish it online somewhere. And actually I can do that directly from the Write LaTeX editor. If I go to the share menu, there's this option to share my PDF on Figshare. Uh, so Figshare is an online repository for all scientific research and with one click my document is immediately exported to their service. What this means is I can now share this unique DOI and start to get credit for my research. My paper is available, I can make changes and update it very easily and by using this service essentially I've gone from creating my paper in Write LaTeX editing it in Write LaTeX, collaborating on it with friends and colleagues and then publishing it online using Figshare. And this is just a short introduction to Write LaTeX and I'll hope you'll give it a try soon. You can find out more at writelatex.com. Thanks.